What type of death was common 100 plus years ago that is very rare today? Polio. 100 years ago tooth infections had a relatively high mortality rate, 1 in 10 would die. 400 years ago tooth infections were basically a death sentence and one of the leading causes of death in Europe. Today tooth infections are easily dealt with. The discovery of antibiotics is by far the greatest achievement in human history. Before antibiotics people would die right and left from bacterial infections. Accidental poisonings. Arsenic, mercury, lead, etc. Also penicillin was discovered until 1928 so a lot of infections were pretty deadly. What small upgrade made a huge difference at your house? King-sized bed. Blackout curtains for sleeping. Such a game changer. A better shower. If you can't redo the whole bathroom, just replace the head. This also works if you rent. Just keep the old one in a box, so you can bring the nice one to your next house. Replaced dated lighting fixtures. Fixtures are now properly grounded. The interior looks more updated, and there is more, better light. Soft close cabinets and toilet seats. We have a soft close toilet seat at our home and every time I'm at a hotel, I completely forget that they aren't usually soft close and the slam startles me. What show failed because someone left the show? I have a fiend we're about to find out with The Witcher. That 70s show, replacing Eric with Randy was truly awful. Crazy how the narrative has completely flipped on the cast of the show. I was a casual fan and remember hearing the Eric actor was a huge douche who didn't get along with the cast, that's why he left or was pushed off the show. Come to find out the cast was a whole bunch of rapists and rapist apologists. Not to mention a bunch of Scientology wackos. Eric was the glue in that show. It was garbage without him. Two and a half men. I know Charlie didn't leave but it was never the same. What's something you wish you knew about sex before you had sex? Just because the sex is good doesn't mean they love or even care for you. Sex has an aroma that others can pick upon, including family members. Fooled around with my high school girlfriend one night and didn't realize there was a smell until my mom gave me a death stare and told me to wash my hands better before coming home. Mortified is an understatement. That people are not always honest about having tested negative for STDs and you should not take their word for it before you have sex. If at night, decide if you are spending the night together or leaving when done. It doesn't mean someone loves you and it doesn't make someone love you. What type of people are you scared of? People with a short temper. What the fuck does that mean? People who get mad at fast food cashiers. It's just so uncomfortable to be around them when they're attacking someone over a simple mistake or inconvenience. I don't remember who said it but, it's not the people that are unsure that bother me, it's the people that are so certain that scare the hell out of me. The dangerously stupid, fucking up and hurting others but come out unharmed to sheer luck. Those people who drive like maniacs on the highway. People who refuse to take responsibility for their mistakes. People who are manipulative liars, who get you to care about them and then play the victim just to watch you suffer. The drunk guys at bars that always have that stare. That stare equals repressed anger, sadness combined with alcohol and usually cocaine. 